we have seen types of fluid in kinematics of fluid flow such as uniform flow, laminar flow, turbulent flow. Similarly, we are going to study what is rotational flow as well as air rotational flow. Rotational flow and air rotational flow. Now, what is rotational flow? Let us study what is rotational flow. Rotational flow is a flow in which if a fluid is flowing in a pipe hmm, and there are n number of molecules of the fluid. Now, while flowing, there will be one molecule and there is second molecule. The molecule 1 rolls over molecule 2. So, that, that is if this is the molecule. So, if at position, let us say position 1, so while flowing from position 1 to position 2, this molecule will actually rotate along its own axis. Now, due to which this molecule is rotating along its own axis, this flow is called as what is rotational flow. Now, in which rotational flow can be defined as a flow in which a molecule rolls over a surface or over another molecule. So, the kind of motion in which it is, is called as general plane motion. And general plane motion, what happens is, there is linear motion also and there is rotational motion also. So, this kind of motion is called as what? Rotational flow. It is also flowing as well as it is rotating along its axis. Now, for an irrotational flow, for an irrotational flow, the molecule will travel from one part of the fluid to the other part of the fluid as it is. So, there won't be any rotation of the fluid in this part. So, I hope you have understood what is difference between rotational flow and a rotational flow. In rotational flow, what happens is the molecule rotate over the axis, where in a rotational flow, the molecule is just traveling in a linear direction. So now we can give this rotational flow and a rotational flow. In uh, we can we can write this rotational flow and a rotational flow in the form of a mathematical equation. Now, let us understand this. Considering there are three axes over here. This is axis x, this is axis y, this is axis z. So, now if a particle, okay, which is rotating along x axis, so that either may be clockwise or it may be anti-clockwise, it governs what we call as an angular velocity along x direction. That means if this is the x direction, it is rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise over this entire surface. So that will be called as rotation along x-axis. Now, there will be a rotation along y-axis. So it will be rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise along that is y-axis that is called as omega z. Similarly, it can rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise along z axis that is equals to omega z. So, omega x is equals to half do v by do z minus do w by do y. Now, what is do v by do z? This means change in y velocity with respect to z axis and change in that is change in velocity along z axis with respect to y axis. So, now omega y can be also given as that is half that is half do do u by do z minus do w by do x so this is similar to what we have written for omega x that is change in velocity along x direction with respect to z minus velocity along y direction with respect to x and similarly, omega z can be written as half that is dou u by dou y 
minus dou v by dou x. So this is change in velocity along change in velocity along x direction with respect to y direction and this is change in velocity with respect to y direction with respect uh, change in velocity along y direction with respect to z direction. So the total omega can be written as omega x i cap plus omega y j cap plus omega z k cap. Now mind you this flow is only valid for rotational flow. In rotational flow, one molecule rotates over the other molecule. While it is rotating, it will have some angular velocity. So this is angular rotation along x direction, angular rotation along y direction and angular rotation along z direction. So this can be written in the form of a determinant that is equals to determinant of that is i j k here you will have u v w here you will have do by do x do by do y as well as do by do z now if you cross multiply you will get velocity along z direction that is if you are calculating the determinant so if you are cal calculating determinant with respect to i so you have to cover this both so that is do v by do v by do z minus do w by do y that will give you that is value of that is omega x and this determinant should be multiplied by half so that this all the coefficients are calculated so so it, it can be written in the form of determinant also it can be written as half that is del cross v since determinant of two vectors we know that is equals to Cross product of two vectors can be represented in the form of determinant and we can write this as del cross V. Now for an irrotational flow, for an irrotational flow, all the values of omega that is omega x will be equal to 0, omega y will be equal to 0 and omega z is equal to 0. So this will be for irrotational rotational flow and for rotational flow omega x won't be equals to 0 omega y won't be equals to 0 and omega z won't be equals to 0 so this will be for rotational flow rotational flow so this might flow in the form of a rotational or it may flow in the form of a rotational flow so we have got its individual equation i hope you have understood what is rotational flow and a rotational flow and the mathematical model to derive an rotational and an a rotational flow thank you